Oh, we got Whiskey Fireside Chat number 21. Here is Mike. How you doing, Mike? We're good. You didn't get me a glass. Am I drinking out of the bottle? Glass! <laughs> we just did a Whiskey Fireside Chat. This is the second one, and we're... It, it, it's, it oh, sterilizes oh, it. All right, I'll take this. Do you want... Oh, there's a glass right for you. Oh, there, there, there Perfect. you go. Perfect. Cutty Sark. Tastes like dry grass. Oh, sounds nice. Seasonal. Yeah, it's got an ant in there too. Yeah, it's like a black fly in your Chardonnay. <laughs> Alright, so Mike is from Badger Paddle, a uh, good friend of mine, and we, uh, well, we sleep together uh, when we're in the States. Uh, we go to Canoe Copia, we stay uh, in Darren's basement, the owner of Canoe Copia. Yeah. And we're very calm, cool, collective there. We don't cause any mischief. Nope, nope, we're very well behaved when we're in a foreign country. Yes. I'm glad they didn't kick us out last year. <laughs> oh, I got the leftover bourbon from the other whiskey chat. That's, uh, yeah, it's different. It's whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> so you are a, a paddle maker. Yep. And you're going to show us the difference between varnishing and oiling a paddle. I prefer oiling. That's the kind of, that's what I tend to do. We do both, but I, I prefer oiling. Um, and the main difference is varnish is like putting a plasticky surface on top of the paddle. It seals yeah. it in really well. If you know you're never going to maintain it or anything like that, maybe varnish is a good way to go. Yeah. But it's a little more finicky and it's harder to maintain. Like when you actually go to do it, it's a bigger job. And I don't like it because it gives me blisters in my hands because it's that plasticky finish between the I wood. I noticed and, that, yeah. So yeah. it heats up more. It just gets more friction, right? And it, and it heats up. So I'm, I have soft, delicate hands and I, I prefer... Uh, <laughs> Let me see your hands. <laughs> they're not delicate. <laughs> You're a manly man. I can use them to sand the paddle, actually. I gotta say, he goes out paddling a lot, so he's a he's a. I know I know it's a lot of canoe builders don't go canoeing. Yeah, but no, a lot of paddle makers actually, go paddling. Yeah, yeah, I do actually. Now, if if it was me, like you know me, I, I use a gear a lot, but I don't take care of it. Yeah. Right. Uh, so should I go with with a varnish? Well, it, it depends because it's really really easy. Like I, I I personally think if you use one over the other, you'll end up having a preference towards at least having your shaft oil because it just feels better in your hand and it's so easy to do so I yeah. like I can and your paddle can be really well loved and and almost look brand new again really like in five minutes so yeah. it depends it depends if you're actually going to do that or not if you're never ever going to do that to be honest then you're you're going to beat up a, a varnish paddle eventually too you might get a couple extra years out of the varnish yeah. paddle what you're saying though is you would shun me if you and I went tripping together and I have a varnish paddle and you have an oil paddle. No, I'd just say it looks like you're going to have to buy a new paddle pretty soon. Which oh, which is good for you because yeah. you, you make paddles. Yeah. I'm not a real maintenance guy too. Like you should see the my canoes. I don't, you know, I, I leave things to the last minute. But the, the paddle's in your hand so you're reminded of it while you're using it. And yeah. it's something literally like sitting around a campfire at, you know, on a, on a canoe trip. You could oil your paddle in five minutes. Could you show me how to oil sure. one here? We might as well use... Um, this is uh, the Paddle in the Park one that I'm supposed to hide this year. Yeah. yeah. So this one... And Chris Hawking saw it! <laughs> Maybe it's the is last he... time he'll well, ever he see it. Well, he grabbed it, it you know? and he said, do I win now? <laughs> no. So here's a new paddle, and uh, but this is one actually... Yeah, I, I left it. it, it, it we're, it's got... we're here out in the wilderness on Prince North <laughs> in Chemong Lake. There's a siren, there's a septic oh. tank being <laughs> pumped out. <laughs> Sorry. This is a new paddle, but it, it's, uh, it's actually... Uh, it's not quite had its last step so it, it gets one more coat of oil this is feeling feel is you, you can feel like oh yeah some some pimples on the surface little yeah, uh, just like when i was in high school yeah yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah i always carry oh, this around in my truck it. yeah i always have and uh and it's uh this isn't our regular container this is president's choice sweet with heat mustard which is really good mustard actually too so. so the biggest thing is just don't get it on your shorts because it'll leave a mark that'll stay there so yeah, especially get, your, get, yeah, oh. get your rag wet with oil. Imagine doing that. And I was on TV the other day, I had my fly down here. Oh. Nobody noticed. Nobody mentioned. Well, they did afterwards. <laughs> nice of them to notice that that's that my, afterwards. That's, that's my third time doing that. <laughs> now, again, what kind of oil is this? This is, I, this is badger wood oil, which is 100% natural which hemp Which you can oil. buy off badger. Yeah, and you can- Which is badger canoe. <laughs> Do this right in your living room. You can do your cutting boards with it. It's food safe. It's hemp oil that's gone through an oxidization process. Oh, cool. Okay. And it's really slow drying. So if you're going on a canoe trip like tomorrow, there would be no point in doing this because it wouldn't be fully cured and it would yeah. just come off in the water. So you want it to be, you want it to sit on there for at least a couple days. If you can, what I tell people is to do it at the end of the canoe trip. Oil your paddle at the end of your canoe trip, hang it up. It'll be ready the next time you go. So that's all just wet with oil. 
And now this is 400 wet and dry sandpaper. You can buy it at, at Home Depot. And while it's wet with this oil, just take the sandpaper and give it a quick buff like this. That's all. I'm not really yeah. sanding it. I'm just kind of giving it's it a very fine, fine sandpaper. It, right? yeah, really fine sandpaper. And what this does, it kind of heats the paddle uh, and the oil up a little bit. So it actually helps the wood draw in a little bit of extra oil. Mm -hmm. But also you felt that the texture that that paddle had on it, it gets yeah. rid of that and it makes it feel like silky smooth. Then you just give it a wipe and literally, so I mean, is that that bad? That was, that's, that's, all that's, really? that's everything right there. Kind of and if you do that twice a year, your paddle will last a really long time. And the more you do it... It looks nicer than a varnished paddle. Well, and, and it really it darkens, it gets... The, yeah, the it really wood gets more in. color to it, yeah. The wood is thirsty? Yeah. Is that where that comes from? So yeah. if you don't oil it that much, it's it's thirsty. Yeah, and you'll feel it. Like, you, that when you paddle like this, it feels silky in your hand. When you, when you start to feel just the grain of the wood a yeah. little bit, then it's a good time to to re-oil your paddle. So another way you can do it is just get some oil right on the on the surface. Now if you didn't buy badger rag, and I literally just oil. dripped some oil in Oh it's all over my shorts! <laughs> you told me not to get it on my shorts. <laughs> I got it in my whiskey. <laughs> oh, that's but you know what it, I could drink it because it's hundred percent non-toxic. Really? Yeah. Uh so if you don't get badger oil, what what is it at that uh, um you could go to the, the hardware store. Literally you could be if your battle was in really bad shape and you're on a canoe trip and you just need to get some oil on it, yeah. you could use your cooking oil. It really oh, yeah? it's not gonna hurt anything. You could also just use um like teak oil, Danish oil, tongue oil. Linseed oil. Linseed oil is one that a lot of people know about, but they don't realize that it doesn't have very good milled and moldew protection. You actually have to add some wood preservative to linseed oil. Oh, really? So like, I, you know when I you know when ash oil. gunnels get like those black yeah. lines in them? That's that's no mold way. and mildew. So that's what I've been putting on my gunnels hemp all oil time. has natural inhibition for that. So it actually hemp oil fights mold and mildew. You tell me this now. We've been for years. <laughs> Secrets. You look at all my gunnels. They're all mildewy. Yep. So you should, when you put linseed oil then, you should add about 20% clear wood preservative. Or just get whatever. What, yep. what, else, what, what else instead of linseed? Just use this this uh, hemp oil or yeah. maybe a, a tongue oil yeah. or a teak oil. Teak oil, teak yeah. oil, okay. Teak oil right. is really, teak oil is the stuff they put on like teak furniture and it lives outside. So it actually, yeah. but too much of that and you almost it's almost varnished. So that yeah. remember how that one felt just a little yeah. bit rough when you touched it? I'll feel it. Oh yeah. Like feel the shaft. It's like a baby's bum. Yeah. That's nice. So that's way yeah. nicer to have in your hand. Yeah. And it doesn't, you're right, it doesn't get sticky like the, the varnish. No. Yeah. Or no, blister. so you could that, like that, you could touch. I mean, if you use teak oil, you'd, your hands would be gummy and... Yeah. I'm going to have a sip kind of this whiskey just to prove it. <laughs> but wait a minute, you, you're, you're drinking the oil, man. <laughs> the problem for that whiskey it might probably make it better. Actually, it is. It's a little smoother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of uh, Cuddy Shark, but it, it, try and say it three times fast. Cuddy Shark, Cuddy Shark, Cuddy Shark. Really? Well, you're a professional in many things, aren't you? Yeah. Whiskey Fireside Chat number 21. Difference between oiling your paddle and uh, varnishing your paddle. Yeah. And why Mike is just a great guy to hang around with. It's a warm day to be beside a fire. And I'm sweating. Are you yeah. sweating? Yeah. Gotta have a whiskey fireside shot with a fire and yeah. whiskey. I, what would it I be called? Done it just back there, it would just <laughs> yeah. be called Mike and Kevin talk. talking. Yeah. How am Nobody I ever going to get a that. whiskey sponsor <laughs> if I don't do the whiskey fireside? I've yet to get a whiskey sponsor, by the you way. You were close though at one point, weren't you? Isn't the Jameson's guy or? No, that was a couple years ago. I was in heaven. Yeah. Yeah, I met this uh, sales uh, guy at, a, at the liquor store, and he liked all the stuff I did, so he gave me boxes of booze, and then he dropped boxes of booze off the back porch. It was, it was amazing. <laughs> they got rid of that guy, didn't they? No, they, he ended up selling wine and he left. I was like, no, no. <laughs> got a lot of friends that year, though. Yeah. I don't know where they went. But... <laughs> oh, oh, I got whiskey on oh, my shorts. I got whiskey on my shorts. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for coming out. Cheers.